Hello there, it's Miss Meg, and this week we are going to create a gratitude pie together. You may have heard of humble pie, but we're gonna make something called a gratitude pie. But before we get started, I wanna go over those Art Beads rules with you. Rule number one is to be kind and be creative. Part of what keeps us kind is our gratitude and being grateful and appreciative of the stuff that we have and, and the stuff around us. So we're gonna be working on our kindness today along with our gratitude. And being creative, I know you're creative, so just bring your creativity to the table today. Rule number two, never say I can't. We're going to be making something today that might be a little tough when we're cutting our shapes, but don't say I can't, instead say I will try. I can do it or will you help me? And rule number three, there are no wrong answers. Everybody's pie is gonna look totally different. And if it does look different, that means we're doing our job right and we're using all of our imagination, curiosity, exploration, and creativity. So there's no wrong answers. Now let's take a look at the supplies. As you can see, it doesn't take much to create our gratitude pie. We've got these printables on artfeeds.org. You can find it by going up into the corner and searching gratitude pie, and that'll bring you to the printable, which will be in Spanish or English. If you can't print it, that's no problem. We'll show you how to create the shape because we've got a paper plate and some construction paper here. Now let's talk a second before we get started about gratitude. You can be grateful or appreciative of many, many, many things around you. Off the top of my head, I can think that I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my home and a safe place to sleep. I'm grateful for fresh and running water. I'm grateful for every single meal I have. Really grateful for my friends. Maybe we're grateful for our teachers. Um, just lots of things to be grateful for. And when we take the time to write those things down, it really helps us pause and understand just how much in our life is good. So that's why we're gonna make a gratitude pie together. Let's get started. We are finished with our gratitude pie. You can serve it up just like a pie like this and then when you flip it open you can be reminded of all the things that you are grateful for. Now this can work on a piece of paper too. You don't have to use a paper plate. We just thought that was kind of fun and I made mine this aqua blue color because I just thought maybe that's the color of the gratitude pie but you can make all different colors or designs. I did this because my grandmother and my mom make designs on pies when they make them. They make wheat stalks. I just decided to do these shapes on here. So you can cut it however you like. Now, something cool about these sheets, these gratitude pie sheets, is that it is a proven fact that when you take a moment and write down the things that you are grateful for, that it makes you happier. Isn't that neat? So when we take a pause and we think about the things that make us grateful, that improves our lives when we just recognize what good we have in our lives. 
So you can make this for yourself as a reminder and it also might be fun to make it for another person and list all the things that you are grateful for in them. So we would love to see what you make with your pie. If you'd like to take a video or a photo and post it online, you can share with us using hashtag art feeds makes. Thank you. And something that I have grateful for on my sheet is my job. So I am grateful for you. I'll see you next time.